So when Chris and Lauren told me that they were getting married, we thought that it was going to be so cool to have one person here, one person that would make this party awesome. Well, he couldn't be here in person, but he gave me a special message to relay to you. Hello, this is Andrew W.K. with a very special personal message for Chris and Lauren. Congratulations on your marriage. I'm very sorry that I couldn't be there in physical form, but I send my party spirit to you. I hope that this wedding day is the partiest day of your entire life. Remember, the couple that parties together parties forever. So congratulations, Chris and Lauren. Enjoy a lifetime of partying hard. Chris and I first met where all the best romances happen, a bar. I was actually conversing with another boy and I thought he and I were hitting it off great. Chris is just kind of that person who kind of kept coming up and like interjecting in our conversation, just uh-huh, yeah, like really. And he ended up asking me for my number and it just, one of those moments where it's like, why not? What do you have to lose? And. This morning when I woke up, it, it finally hit me that I was getting married. It's just like the build up to this moment and it had like first thing this morning, it was just like the light at the end of the tunnel. What I love about Lauren is she's she's smart, she's beautiful, she's funny, she's clever. She's got a lot of really amazing qualities. He has the kindest heart and everything he does is with the best intentions and he he's just my person. It's the, he's just somebody I connected with on just this unreal level and he's my best friend. How am I going to feel when I first see Chris? I think excited, giddy, hopefully not tearful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just thrilled that this guy is going to be my husband. He's going to be my with me for the rest of our lives, and that's unreal. It's just an amazing feeling. I think when I see Lauren today, I'll probably be a little uh, surprised at her dress and the veil and stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing her and I think I'll probably be surprised in a good way. Are you ready? Are you nervous? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, but not to get married. I love you and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you and I'm glad we're finally done with the wedding. It's, um, it's, it's been a giant circus, um, but I'm glad it's to you and nobody else. So I love you and I hope you're having a wonderful time getting getting ready and enjoying the day. Christopher, I am so looking forward to this day and I'm so glad that you chose me and I'm just 
Words can't even describe how excited I am to spend the rest of my life with you and to just take this journey together and let's do it. <laughs>
from the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one come between. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and joy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chris Corso. Father, we thank you for bringing us all here safely tonight to celebrate the marriage of two very special people. We ask that you continue to bestow your blessings upon these newlyweds, all of us here present this evening, and keep us in your loving care. Good morning, Chris. You two are made for each other. Good morning. You're a great gal. Love watching you grow up, kid, whether it was athletics or academics or just who you became as a person. I just want to raise a glass to Chris and Lauren for a long, happy relationship. Cheers. at all have had a loving sisterly relationship. Um, she beat me up on a regular basis. She was a lot bigger than me as a kid. <laughs> we ignored each other in the hallways in high school. We deleted each other off social media a couple times. <laughs> Through it all, I always looked up to Lauren, if nothing else, because she was an incredibly tall kid. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I did always want to be just like Lauren. And even still today, I want to be as good of a friend, as good of a daughter, and now as good of a wife as Lauren is. <laughs> told me that I was supposed to end this with some relationship advice, so <laughs> um, I made some up. After date night, don't eat the leftovers without asking. Number two, don't be a bed hog. And number three, make each other look as happy or even half as happy as you both do today. Because not every day is easy and we all know that, but the hard ones make the good ones worth it. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Chris's younger brother. I want to thank Chris for this opportunity because while I've always been a great man, I now have the opportunity to be the best man. I'm most grateful for is that I had the unique opportunity to watch my less than suave brother approach a beautiful redhead one night, fully expecting him to firmly plant his foot in his mouth. But much to my surprise, they hit it off. And I now have the pleasure of having that same beautiful woman be my sister-in-law. to myself 
20 years from now. Remember in this moment how much everybody means to you, how much Chris means to you, and feel the love. Feel it and embrace it and just have fun.